Hi guys, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for being here. I am currently on my new journey of sharing all of the things that I have learned and have done in my life to get me to a happy place and actually truly become that best version of myself. Today's topic was how I paid $198,000 worth of debt in less than two years. So being in debt is honestly something really scary, especially if you've never been in it before. I've personally been down this cycle and rabbit hole many many times I didn't understand what money could do and I was really reluctant to honestly learn the background of where money came from what money could do how to make more of it how to save it I just was living in like a delusional land and it was honestly so unhealthy it gave me the worst financial health it gave me such bad credit and then I could really blame myself for all of these mistakes and I just truly hated looking at my bank account every single day and I woke up one day and I said this is the day I can't keep living like this successful people do not do this successful people have great habits where they are honestly self-aware they know where every single dollar is coming in and out and i truly wanted to be that version i just didn't know how so i took some programs and hired a mentor and now i'm so financially healthy i know where every single dollar goes in and out of i have created all of these new discipline and financial habits that i have been sticking to over the past few years so i wanted to talk about a time and a story where i got out of debt of one hundred ninety eight thousand dollars worth of debt in less than two years. So out of my $198,000 worth of debt, $62,000 of that were credit card debts, like my Amex, different credit cards that I have racked up, totaling to $62,000. $39,000 was to my student loans and then the remainder were my line of credit that I had pulled because I thought I needed more money for school. At the time when I pulled the line of credits, I was also learning about stock trading. So I knew that you needed money and cash. So when I had applied for the line of credit, for some reason, the financial banks gave me this huge line of credit amount in less than a day. And I was like, wow, I must have really good credit. But actually it's not because I had really good credit. These banks want you to get in debt so they can make money from your interest, okay? and I had carried these crazy amounts of debt paying only the minimum just to get into more debt to barely pay down the interest for years and years and when I realized this I'm like I'm gonna make a plan to pay this down in less than 24 months and so that is what I did so the first step that I did was that I made a spreadsheet and budgeted and took a look at my income versus my expenses I looked at where all my money was going and where I was spending it on the most which made me and then look at all my Amazon purchases all of my shopping shopping addiction, things that I kept buying that I truly did not need, how much I was making every single month. I was working 9 to 5, but I also had picked up some side quests and side jobs in between. I was always a person who knew that I need to make more money so that I can live a better lifestyle. And in therefore, before doing that, I need to pay off debt. So this was my commitment to doing these things. Sometimes it just takes sacrifice from where you are to get to where you want to be. The second thing I did was after the spreadsheet, I planned out all all of my months of what the next year would look like so what would the next 12 month cycle look like for me how much am i able to tackle from this debt while also being able to put a little bit of money away for myself my family my future travels of the things that i like i didn't want to completely cut out and just black out every single thing that gave me joy because i've read so many books ramit sethi which is one of the financial authors he has his own netflix show i've listened to also a lot of his podcasts and he says that you shouldn't cut down on the things that make you feel good like if spending six dollars on a latte every single day makes you feel good and you genuinely love it then do it so that was something that i followed heavily i didn't want to just completely shut down all the things that i loved when it came to fashion and travel but i knew that there needed to be just a little bit of pivoting in my life so that i could get to a further place which means just for now i would just just not do it for on a smaller scale and I knew that I can get back into my regular habits and routines later. Every single month when I made a little bit more, I would just celebrate the small wins. So every single month I knew that I was committed to putting around eight to ten, eleven thousand dollars away to this debt completely every single month. As long as my bills were paid, I truly 
did not care about anything else. I was so committed to this journey. I didn't want to go out to eat. I didn't want to spend money. I didn't go to events. I didn't travel. I just truly were like, this is something that I need to do. And I don't want to continuously living like this because how can I truly step into my best version and myself if I'm in debt like this? So I celebrate the small wins. If one month I could put more than last month, I was so happy. My body and my soul and I was like, yes, I'm gaining progress. And the best thing is when we implement something new or a change in our life, we're like kids sometimes. We just need like positive reinforcement and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, somebody else, a teacher or nobody else is gonna tell us like you're doing a great job. So we have to do that for ourselves. Track it in the way that's gonna make you feel good and just look at it and just be happy and congratulate yourself. And every single time you tackle something small, celebrate it, get yourself a cake, get yourself a different coffee, an extra one, you know, just do something that makes you feel good so you can just keep going. The fourth thing I did when it came to paying off my $198,000 worth of debt in less than two years was healing my money traumas. This was something that took me so many years to do, but come to an understanding of how I even let myself down this horrible cycle. I blamed myself. I stayed up endless nights wondering what is wrong with me? Is there anybody else in the world like this or is it just me? Why did I do this to myself? Like other people are so lucky. No one probably is this stupid. I put myself down so much. I had to get to the root of it. Otherwise I knew that this was something I would just continuously cycle into my adult hood relationships into my adult years and i didn't want to do this continuously into like my 30s 40s 50s i'm like this is a time that i need to do this i'm in my 20s i have the most resources and energy knowledge that i can get to right now so i need to make these changes so i don't have all of these things and then, then translate it down to my future children. Healing these money traumas took a lot of shadow work, a lot of mental, emotional work and different things that I had to go through to get to this place. But honestly, once you get to that place and you really come to a time where you're just like, wow, you can see everything for what it is and you don't blame yourself, you're detached from it, you feel great about it, you know that you're healing from that part and that inner child so that you can move to the next thing. This is temporary and you're making the efforts now to really change and do better things. Healing that was honestly so liberating. And the last thing I did when it came to paying down my $198,000 worth of debt in two years was honestly just staying consistent and knowing that every single month there was a goal that I wanted to get to. And I knew that after these two years, when I paid this off completely, I would be able to live a really debt free journey and be intentional with every single thing that I put myself into. And it's a vicious cycle. You know, a lot of people live through these crazy money toxic cycles for like 20, 30, 40 years. Like, do you want to be that person? No, you don't want your kids and your generation and everything that you're growing into translate and go into that. You want to go to a restaurant and feel like you can afford two appetizers if you want to that day and dessert. You want to go to enroll your child into a private school because you moved into a nice area and you just can. You want to go to the best doctors. You want to be in the best elite environments and places because you understand that our environment is going to affect us so much. And when you continuously stay in debt and chase the materialism or the consumerism and just live a life where we're constantly on anxiety and thinking when the next paycheck is gonna come or how am I ever gonna get out of this debt and not doing anything about it, it's a horrible place to be. And so in order to actually step into a very peaceful and stabilized state in your life, it is truly becoming debt free. And I wish this upon all of you who are starting this journey or ending this journey or have been through this journey before that you found peace and you understand the value of money and when you start this journey you intentionally know and appreciate so much more with the possessions that you have and the things that you have done in your life i'm so happy to be able to share this learning i also have a free course on how to become that best version of yourself because you powerful queens are amazing and in order to up level your standards you are always up leveling your life i love you guys so much thank you so much for being here i'm so excited to continuously share my learnings i will see you guys in the next one bye